What's up, Fight Fans? And I'm back at it with another one here with another edition of Round 1 Sports Talk. I want to break down a fighter that I was recently asked to talk about. He is a Japanese fighter by the name of Junto Nakatomi. Junto Nakatomi has a fight scheduled May 20th against Andrew Maloney. He is the twin brother of Jason Maloney. They are Australian fighters. Okay. Nakatomi is um, 25 years old, right? His current record is 24 fights, zero losses, zero no contest. Okay. Uh, he is 5'7 um, and a half. He has a 60, 67 inch arm reach. And in his division today, in the super flyweight division, they are 727 registered fighter. He is currently ranked number four in the world. Okay. Now, um, his opponent, Andrew Maloney. Andrew Maloney's 32 years old, right? He's 5'5". Five, five. He um, has a 65-inch reach, okay? And um, his last five fights, he lost one and won four. And um, Nakatomi's last five fights, he he's undefeated, so... He came, he's coming off a unanimous decision against Rodriguez, and the last fight fight that Jay, uh, Maloney lost to was Francisco. Okay, so um, Nagatami, listen, I've had my eye on him for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I knew this day would come. I knew that this day would come where they would put him in the category, or try to put him in the categories with the likes of Naoya Inoue. Naoya Inoue is the front runner in Japan right now. Okay? I can't take that away from him. Nagatomi is the new shiny thing. He's the new car. He's that new shiny thing that you watch. And I can see why a lot of people watch him and they get captured in the moment. They become a prisoner of the moment. When they watch him fight. Because as soon as you see him fight. At, before the fight. You're nervous for him right. Then you watch him fight. He wins. He brutally knocks out. And you're fresh off watching this. That's the freshest thing on your mind. It's, it's, the, it's the last good boxer. You saw. And especially if you like him. It's going to change your outlook. And your opinion. It's going to make you forget. What the others have done. The great ones, okay? Many of the great ones have rise to the top. And in the beginning of their careers, a lot of people wanted to see them win. Some of them were underdogs. Some of them were not underdogs. And they were just dominant, okay? Once they continued on winning, after so much winning, those people, one by one, start to turn on you. Some stay loyal. Some start to turn on you, okay? Case in point, this one right up here. How many people have come into the NBA each time they come in, they show a flare of good greatness, and all of a sudden, they're compared to this man right here? Right? No one, and I mean no one, the truth is, has come close to that man right there, except the late Kobe Bryant. That's the truth. The only person to mirror him, you know, he came close. Not, not like the real deal, right? But the closest person to ever mirror that man right there was Kobe Bryant. So, what happens? Case in point, Tom Brady goes into the Super Bowl against Patrick Mahomes. What they do? They label Patrick Mahomes the baby goat. Are you serious? What a smack in the face to the real GOAT. You mean to tell me Tom Brady made it to six Super won six Super Bowls by that time, made ten Super Bowl appearances, which is an outrageous number. No person in history has ever done that. No team. Okay? Which is outrageous. Right? But yet, Patrick Mahone throws a couple pretty plays, scrambles around good, and I admit he's a great talent. You know what I'm saying? But he just doesn't have the accolades 
in the rings to be compared to this man. But what do they do? No problem. They have no problem disrespecting the greats. And 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 it should be up to the Patrick Mahone to say, hey, pump your brakes. I need to accomplish some things before you put me in the same conversation with the great Tom Brady. It's up to the athlete to stop that shit. And say, yeah, I am good, but let me put in some work. That's exactly what's going on right here with Naoya Inoue and Nakatomi. Nakatomi is the next shiny thing. And I like him. I support him, man. He's a group, he's a good fighter. But he's just not Naoya Inoue. I could not give him that yet. You know, although Nakatomi possesses good, you know, um, he has a bright future ahead of him. And I believe he can do these things if given the opportunity. But he has to do it first. You cannot give him the credit and label him Japanese best fighter if Naoya Inoue, for God's sakes, hasn't even lost yet. Okay? You know, he's the front runner. He's your guy. So... Nagatomi right now is in a good position right now where that, you know, he can start to branch out. You know, um, you're only judged by your level of opposition. Unfortunately, Nagatomi has not fought the level of opposition or champions or captured titles to really put him in that kind of conversation. I believe that he has great potential and I'm not going to rush him along. He has to pass his test against Maloney, in which in this fight, I like him. I like Nakatomi. I got Nakatomi in, in the Maloney fight, okay, on May 20th. But um, he's going to have to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? And if he is successful to put in that work, you know, time and time again, we've seen so many times great fighters in the European, so Anthony Joshua, Ricky Haddon, they do great out there. They're awesome. That they, you know, they're out there, you know. No sooner that they come out here or fight that top level opposition, you know, they couldn't they couldn't pass the test. So Nakatomi has a lot of tests in front of him, you know, and he needs to pass them. Whether the day would ever come that these two will meet, um, it wouldn't be now. Okay, let's just let's just you know let's not bring this to Fantasy Island. And say who will win in a fight out of Nakatomi and, and Naoya Inoue. Okay, that is not something that is, is plausible right now. It's not real. Okay, Naoya Inoue is on a different trajectory. He's already passed where Nakatomi's at. Nakatomi has got to catch him. He's got to keep winning in order to stay where he, you know, and, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's not like, you know, he's going to lose weight to, to go backwards to fight him. He would also have to gain weight and go up forward, right? Okay. So, you know, their styles are two different styles. And when you got fighters like that, Japan, be careful. Because America has experienced this for a long time. And when you're the man in your own country and this is your fellow countrymen, you know, all of a sudden everybody wants to see you two fight to see who the best is. You know what I'm saying? And um, allow them to blossom as their own men. Allow them to establish their own careers and legacies. Allow, allow them to, you know, so that if the day shall come where we want to see who the best is, you know, I hopefully that will be a little bit down the line. You know, I want to give Nakatomi the best possible chance against Naoya anyway. I don't want to put him in too young and he beat him and he just wasn't, you know, the best version of himself. He hadn't matured yet into or, you know, he's not, he, he, he could have been better. If you put him in too early is what I'm trying to say against Naoya anyway. You know what I'm saying? He'll end up beating him, and uh, he won't get another opportunity. But I believe if we wait just a year or two, you know, maybe right around there, you know, he's only 25 years old. Now, Yoya Inoue would be 32 at this age. He would still be in the prime of his career. 
So, and he would be 27. See what I'm saying? And then you put him to fight, and then we'll see, you know, who wins that fight right there. But I like both of them fighters. Um, I still believe that Naoya Inoue is the front runner in Japan right now. I'm not ready to rip the torch out of his hand and just give it to Nagatomi when he hasn't done the things that Naoya Inoue has done. He hasn't fought in the kind of fights he's fought against, and he hasn't cleaned out his division like he did. Okay? So, <coughs> um, when he does do some of these things, when he does cross the pond and come to America and fight some of the bigger champs, um, then time will tell. I'm not ready to rip the torch out of Naoya Inoue's hand. I believe that's firmly in his grip. I believe he is the front runner for Japan right now. Um, he is getting in a position in his career where he's fighting fewer fights because now it's a lot of business going on, you know, to get this man, you know, you know, um, uh, venues and dates, and people are going to fly in from around the world, hotels, and, you know, there's big money around Naoya anyway right now, but what happens when you're a big name like that? You see them less and less and fewer and fewer, you know what I'm saying? And, and Nagatomi, you know, he's fighting two, three times a year, and he's on your TV screen all the time, and I get it. I get it, because he's what you're watching right now, and you're a prisoner of the moment. You're, 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 you know, you're, you're falling in love with what you're seeing right now. And you're forgetting about what was going on because out of sight, out of mind, we don't haven't seen Naoya in a way in the ring for quite some time right now. Okay. So, you know, um, that's what happens when you get up to the higher state, you know, you start to see the fighter less and less, you know, uh, there's just so much money being thrown around up there, um, that, you know, it kind of gets in the way. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? But Nakatomi is a great fighter. He is a good fighter. He's fast. He's quick. You know, although I've seen him get hit a lot against Rodriguez. You know, that was a tough Mexican. You know, Mexicans are tough. Um, I still think that he has a lot to learn. You know, and um, there's no perfect fighter. Every fighter in the world has flaws. Every other fighter can pick apart even the greatest of fighters. No, well, he did this wrong, he did that wrong. So let's just get that out of our head. Where that we're going to see Superman in the ring. That doesn't exist. You know, guys got to get hit. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, um, but he, he's, he's showing good potential. And I like him. And I like him. I like Nakatomi. Um, you know, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good fighters that came out of Japan. Um, I, um, the other Nagatomi, which fought against Lomachenko, you know, you know, we, we had a lot of praises for him as well. And we, you know, his future looked bright, you know, and, um, you know, he just didn't live up to it. You know, they put him in the position to fight the fighters that he needed to fight. He just didn't win the fights that he needed to fight, win. That sometimes happens. You know, so let's see where Nagatomi ends up. Let's see how this fight unfolds against Maloney. Um, I don't think that Maloney is going to bring anything to the table that he hasn't already seen. Maloney, once again, he's 5'5". Five, five. Nagatomi, 5'7 and a half. You know, it really doesn't matter about height when you can get around that. Case in point, Nayoya Inoue was the shorter man going against McDonald. Right? The European fighter. And Naoya Inoue got around that, you know, so fast. He knocked him out in one round. You know, here's a man that was undefeated for 10 years and a champion for four years. You know what I'm saying? He held that title for four years. And uh, it only took Naoya Inoue one round to get around his height, reach, and everything. So... If you're in there taking care of business, that's what you got to do. Nakatomi has to do the same thing in order for me to just, you know, be like, oh, he's better than Naoya anyway. No, I will not let allow myself to get be a prisoner in the moment. Just because I like what I'm seeing, I have to remind myself 
that there were people before him that are coming through that are still not dethroned. And I'm not going, like I said, I can't rip the torch out of Naoya Inoue's hand and just give it to this kid just because he's the next shiny new thing. He hasn't proven anything yet. He hasn't, he hasn't reaccomplished anywhere near the accomplishments of Naoya Inoue. And let us not forget who Naoya Inoue is. Okay? He's just not no regular fighter, bro. We might be talking about the greatest fighter of all time. We, we just got to find out and view where he takes it, Naoya Inoue. How far does he go? Where is his ceiling? How many divisions is he going to move up? How many divisions is he going to conquer? You know, and, and get belts in. You know what I'm saying? How far is he going to take this? We, you know, time will tell. He has not finished writing his legacy. With each fight and each outing, he keeps writing his legacy. And if he keeps winning and he keeps knocking people out the way he's doing, you know, he might be in a total different conversation. And I'm not ready to take um, Juto um, Nakatomi and quickly put him side by side against Naoya Inoue and say, you know what? This guy's better because I've been seeing him better more recently. And I like his explosiveness. And I like, well, he looks good against those guys. Naoya Inoue is not those guys. Okay? So, let me know what you think about the video. I will go even more in depth into these fighters. I just wanted to add, I'm going to answer some of my subscribers that asked me to talk about these fighters real quick. And, um, you know, I just want to let you know that he is also a fighter I have my eye on. I've been had my eye on. Come on, man. That's Nakatomi right there, bro. All right? He's kicking butt right now, okay? And if you don't know who he is, please go look at his highlights. Go look him up. You know what I'm saying? Show him some love. You know what I'm saying? Um, look up this kid. You know, he's good. Not great yet. He's not elite. He's good. Matter of fact, he's a little better than good. He's a little bit better than good. Okay? But I just want to bring him down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay? Because he's human. I'm not going to, you know, I'll go crazy here. You know? I'm just going to keep him right there. And um, like I said, let's see with each fight where this takes us. And how far each fighter is is going to go. You know what I'm saying? So please like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm on to the next one. Peace.